It's a significant milestone in the economic expansion agenda of the Ohio State Government and part of its holistic plan to transform Ibadan Cargo Airport to world-class standard. Since its establishment in 1982, the Ibadan Cargo Airport has fallen short of its mandate of providing quality aviation services. This event, which has attracted dignitaries from far and wide, is a strategic step towards revitalizing the sector. When we started 20 years ago, we started outside the terminal building. But he, gave, he provided us terminals, he provided us uh, machines, he provided us the protocol lounge. He was particular, and in the last four years, access to the airport has been tremendously improved. And that translates to economic development for Oyo State, which was one of his goals. Glory to God. We thank His Excellency and the Oyo State Government for the opportunity to be part of GSM Infrastructure Revolution with the design and construction of this aviation terminal, built to the best international standard. The event also featured the inauguration of the newly dualized 3.2 km airport road, named after former governor of Old Oyo State, Victor Omololu Onuloyo, which was a delight to guests present at the event. The dualization of this 3.275 km road, as well as the 1.998 adjoining roads we are commissioning today, was contracted to Mr. Scopec Construction Limited for a duration of six months. It was conceived as one of the projects that will form the foundation for accelerated development, which we now call Omituntu 1.4. As has been mentioned, work on this road commenced in February 2022. We have completed the project in one year and just in time to move into Omituntu. Special guest of Ono and River State Governor Yesom Wiki described the auspicious occasion as one capable of expanding the state's economy. He also spoke about his party's loss at the presidential polls. I only belong to the G5 stand their feet on the ground because you know what you are doing. It's only those who have faith, who have nothing to offer, that cannot stand firm and be bold and take a decision and say that we must put things right. It doesn't matter who is involved. The governor has shown that he has the capacity, has shown he's a man you can depend on, has shown that he's a man that will not tolerate uh, uh, complete slavery. I'm happy he's one of those that have made history by making sure power shifts to the south. Good people that those who fight for change, those who fight for revolution, may not be direct beneficiaries of that fight. But today, history has it that all of us now are aware that when power finishes from the south, it will go to the north. When it finishes from the north, it will go to the south. So it does not need to be written. In any constitution at all before it is uh, implemented. Dignitaries also inaugurated the 500,000 litre capacity aviation for dispensing depot, which is expected to ease business transactions as well as transportation of goods and services within the airport and its environs. Olutai of Moscow, Arise News, Ibarra.